Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I am coming at you from Miles City Saddlery here in Miles City, Montana. And a lot of you guys have requested me do a Peruku Big Bass Boot. And today I have one from Tony Lama. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way all right, guys, Miles City Saddlery is amazing. There's so many boots here. They got so many Tony Llamas, so many Hondos, so many Olathas. They got a lot of boots here. Plus, they have a saddle museum upstairs. I'll show some footage of it right here. It is incredible. Wow. So many of you have requested me do a Big Bass Piruku boot and uh, I found one here. They got a new display of brand new Tony Llamas that they have in and I jumped at it right away guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> so with that, let's get straight into the rundown. This is Tony Llama model number 8261 and it features a Peruku fish on the foot and the counter. This also features a wide square toe with a double stitched welt. It is 13 inches tall and features a stacked leather heel of about one inch and three eighths. It's a stockman heel. For an outsole, we got a leather outsole here with some brass nails alongside that shank and a rubber heel cap on the inside. It is leather lined all the way through. Ooh, super soft leather lining the foot area. And for an insole, we have their cushion comfort system, which uh, is a foam and it has some gel at the heel with some pigskin lining the top, it looks like. I like this insole okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's just sort of middle of the road for me. I remember trying a similar insole in their Patron boot and uh, it was decent, uh, but I'm still looking forward to trying this boot on and seeing what the Peruku fish feels like. This boot is also made in the USA with global parts and comes in at $545. Now it's time to try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, guys, I have the Tony Llama fish boots on right now, this Peruku feels incredible. Piruku, um, that's a very difficult word for me to say, so if those folks in the comments wanna make fun of me for it, go right ahead. <laughs> because I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. There's nothing that you could say that uh, is gonna offend me because these fish boots are incredible. It's such a soft and supple leather. Plus it feels really cool. I'm not sure if that's because of the perforations in the insole. I didn't feel that in the Patron Bomber Brown when I was uh, doing a video about that. It might be the fish boots itself. The fish leather, the Piruku is really cool feeling. So it feels like it's a great leather for uh, hot climates, for the summer months. This dress boot for summer months, it's, it, it's, it's kind of surprising about how cool it is. I just had a pair pair of bull hide boots on the Hondo 2670s and um, that was a little bit more warm or it could have been because this was you know sitting out for a little bit but uh, more cool than what I've felt recently. I don't think it's just in my head. Let me know if you feel that same experience about Piruku down in the comments. I'm very curious to hear what your experience is. <clears throat> the insole is uh, pretty much what I felt like with the Patron Bomber. It's really nothing that special. It's uh, got that leather lining on the top, that pig skin, which is okay. It's not the best leather to have on an insole. I would much prefer uh, a cowhide or a hard leather insole, uh, but it's much better than a cloth lined top insole. So I would have to say that that is one downside to this is just that, that that pigskin removable insole. Pigskin lined top removable insole. Underneath you do have that foam and maybe a little bit of gel at the heel. The wide square toe looks pretty good with the fish. 
it really makes a wide sort of canvas for all those flakes to just show and uh, it, it's, it's kind of a cool texture to look down at. Speaking of which, here is the POV of the fish boots. You know, I like fish in more of a narrow square toe, but you don't really see that a lot. It's still coming out with this wide square look. But uh, like I said, it's a great sort of canvas for those fish scales to show to the world. Again, this is the first time I've ever tried a Peruku boot, and I know several of you have wanted to see a video on them. Thankfully enough, Miles City Saddlery had my size in this Tony Lama boot, and I see the hype, guys. It's so soft. I don't know if it was just me, but it felt like it was really breathable and had a lot of cool features about it, like temperature cool. Not only does it look cool, but it is temperature cool. It keeps your feet a little cooler, at least in this quick impression. If I'm totally wrong, please let me know down in the comments, but that's just my impression the first time trying this on in a store. Really soft, love the feel of fish boots and the texture is completely unique too. Of course, it has taken the place of ant eater since you can't get ant eater anymore. That was, that used to be the only thing that had these sort of diamond scales. Now they found a replacement for it um, back in the early 2000s or 2010s with the Peruku fish and it looks great. The insole I feel like is the only downside to this. I'm not a huge fan of that pigskin lined top on that removable insole. Would have much preferred a hard leather traditional insole in this boot but everything else is incredible. I love the lining, I love the heel, it is an awesome boot and it's coming in at $545 here at Miles City Saddlery and they do ship to you guys too. So you can call them at this number right here and I also have it down at the link in the description and they will ship. They will also accept email orders. You can follow them on Facebook to see all of their new stock. Links are down in the description to everything. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're ever passing through Miles City, you've got to stop here. It is an incredible store. Um, you'll love it. You'll probably spend an hour or two here just looking at all the amazing stuff. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching today. Uh, if you found this video uh, valuable, uh, entertaining, educational, please consider subscribing. It really goes a long way to help me continue to bring these awesome quick impression videos from awesome stores like this. I will see you guys around. Peace. Those Tony Lama with the fish leather They're so soft and light Be sure to head on over to my city saddlery and they'll fit you just right. <laughs> Wanted to check out this video up here about a pair of Anderson Bean Cayman boots. Or I got a video down here about a US vet who got leprosy and would always escape quarantine to visit his family. It's a true story and song. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>